hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in the last video we talked about refund uh, you know refunding a uh, payment using ADN so in this video we'll talk about recurring payments so recurring payments is uh, you know when there is uh, 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 when there is something like a recurring uh, products which customer orders and the payments has to be you know processed automatically without uh, you know customer involving uh, again in, in the future orders so basically suppose a customer wants to order uh, a certain product and he gives uh, the authorization or uh, to you know uh, to process the payment for all the future payment you know future payments uh, so in that case we go for uh, this recurring option so firstly for this what you'll have to do is um, you'll have to go to additional data under developers and once you come here uh, you'll have to search for recurring you'll have to enable this recurring once you enable this you should see something like this additional data uh, recurring so we'll have to you know uh, this is uh, required this using this particular reference this will be used as a token for all the future reference uh, you know uh, you know for all the future uh, payments we'll be using this token so how this is generated for this first we'll have to go to uh, the ADN website you can open this hopefully there's a link so under tokenization if you come so in the main website under online payments tokenization create and use tokenization there are options whether uh, you know it's a one-off payment subscription or automatic top-ups so when you go for subscription we'll have to pros uh, provide the recurring process model processing model variable i know uh, for that particular key we'll have to provide the value subscription and uh, for all the future uh, payments we'll have to provide the value has uh, uh, you know, shopper interaction should be uh, uh, count auth, and in the initial stage, it should be e commerce. So, uh, if you see that one, let's go and select subscription itself. So, this is how it should be for uh, the first payment uh, recurring processing model should be subscription, shopper interaction should be e commerce, and we'll have to, uh, you know, cap, uh, get the uh, credit card or whatever details they're providing here and store it and uh, this is how the response will be additional data uh, this will be the data which will be received uh, this will be you know the unique uh, token which will which we'll be using for all the future payments uh, PSP reference will be you know unique for each and every request so for all the future uh, you know transactions uh, we don't have to again pass all the credit card details you can just provide payment method type scheme which we pro pro provided earlier as well and uh, stored payment id this is where we'll use the token so if you read it it says like um, stored payment method id this is the recurring reference details returned in the response when you created the token so based on this token only we'll be you know making the or uh, processing the payment and this is the order id which will be uh, which we'll receive from uh, the e-commerce and we can put it here or any value whichever you want to you know use to identify that particular order and in shopper interaction we are not supposed to give e-commerce now we'll have to provide continue auth uh, so recurring processing model will be subscription itself so what we'll do we'll try this uh, problem is there's a test account so probably they are not uh, they are not supporting this one so uh, they're not supposed uh, supporting uh, the recurring payments so what I'll do I'll undo everything uh, I'll just go to the initial one so this is how the initial uh, you know code looked like so here now we'll provide subscription subscription for the first payment and uh, adn payment everything is there 
now let's see if this works so it says that recurring processing model is subscription but we are supposed to get uh, recurring dot you know what is that called um, additional data it is called recurring details reference we are not getting that uh, maybe because of um, you know uh, because of the test account or else that should have come here and for all the future payments we are not supposed to pay uh, we are not supposed to pass e-commerce we'll have to pass count auth uh, let's see what what error we get so let's provide uh, on this ID itself let's provide test so that they hopefully this is how we pass for credit cards hopefully this should work for recurring payments also let's see if this works or throws some error so it says shopper reference is not provided so we'll provide the shopper reference also so let's pass it here and see if this solves anything it says contract not found so basically it's not working so i had tried earlier also so if you have a live uh, account uh, no you can try this this is how you do this you have to pass the token which was generated initially here and make all the future payments so that's all in this video uh, so this is about recurring payments um, uh, if you like the video hit the like button guys uh, please do provide your feedback in the comment section uh, also you know subscribe uh, it means a lot thank you so much let's catch again in the next video thank you guys bye